Good morrow and welcome to my 15th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you can use parameters in your queries. So a parameter in your query is, so when I put in a date here, I might actually want to put in, uh, let the user decide what that date parameter is going to be. Um, so in order to do this, we click on our design ribbon up here uh, and then we're going to click on the parameters here and this is going to bring up a list of what the user can input at the start as a parameter so I'm going to put in uh, my date as the first parameter and then you just need to select what data type you're going to pass it through as so I'm going to do mine as a date with time but you can do it the same as any other field type so just make sure it matches with your fields um, data type uh, and you can put in as many as you want I'm just going to use this one my date and I'm going to press OK and then now down here instead of putting in my date I just need to put in my date and then it will automatically put it in square brackets if it doesn't do it yourself uh, and then that is going to just be passed as parameter so if I just save this and close it down uh, when I go to run this now if I double click on it, it's going to ask me for the date. So I'm going to put in uh, 06 slash 02 slash 2014. Press OK. And then it's going to bring through all of the ones for 2014. Um, and we can put in multiple ones. So let's say we want to have a start date and an end date. So let's go to our design, go into our parameters. So let's have start date end date and make that a date with time um, and then let's put user ID in as well as a long integer uh, so now we want to be putting these in so let's put in our user ID as a where and we'll put that as user ID parameter uh, and it like that there we go square brackets um, and then we want to put so that we want the sale date to be greater than or equal to uh, hashtag free we don't need the hashtag free because we just want our open bracket start date and I'm just going to click on it and it will complete it and then let's put and less than or equal to end date and double click on it to complete it so now when we save this close it and now when we run it it's going to ask for my start date so let's put in uh, today so 05 slash 02 slash 2014 so I'm going to ask for the end date so let's put in uh, temp of February 2014 and it's going to ask for the user ID so I'm going to put in 1001 uh, and that's going to bring through myself and then going to tell me that I've got three uh, items that have been purchased in between those dates um, and that is essentially how you use parameters they're very simple but very useful uh, at the same time and if you've got any questions about them, then feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to start showing you how to use the build tool. So I hope to catch you soon.